Introducing the Intuitive Hour. Awaken your inner voice with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify the powers of your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. Hello, everyone. We are here for another episode of The Intuitive Hour, Awaken Your Inner Voice. It's an honor and pleasure to have you here today. We're talking about emotional energy. This often comes up with clients in various sessions, and so I thought this would be a meaningful topic for the day. As a side note, you might hear some birds in the background. I'm going to leave my window wide open in this recording studio space and welcome them in with us. So uh, if you hear it, say hello to it and uh, welcome, welcome in the birds with us today. All right. Okay, so emotional energy. Emotions are energy. Actually, emotional energy is energy in motion. While it's true that the hours you work and the amount of sleep you get contribute to your energy levels, energy is actually derived very much from your emotional well-being in addition to external sources. Your emotional energy is an energy thermometer of sorts and can often signal a personal energy crisis. Your life may be full and satisfying, but it may also be too full. You may find yourself overwhelmed and running on empty. We're told to take care of our bodies, but leave our souls to languish. It's not selfish to work out our soul health. Emotional energy is the fuel that powers our physical and mental engines. So caring for our emotional energies starts with a regular connection with nature, hence the birds, (laughs) and spending time alone if you are an introvert or time with others or if you are an extrovert. Know that the most debilitating drain on energy is self-criticism. Be sure to catch any negative chatter that goes on in your brain and restate it. Turn negative self-talk into positive self-talk. We live in a culture that tells us that winning and finishing is everything. However, admitting you made a wrong decision or even quitting can be a better course of action. Releasing what doesn't work calms our emotions and frees us to experience an energy buildup for other things we need to do. Another energy destroyer is a lack of boundaries. This too comes up often in sessions. Uh, This is the inability to set parameters around how we want to be treated and how far we're willing to accept behaviors. You've heard the saying, get a life. Personalizing your life increases your energy and fuels your well-being. Pay attention to when the expectations of others interfere with your own wants and needs. Don't allow their ideas of your duties and responsibilities to crowd your days and rob you of the joy of daily living. And whatever you do, don't worry. Set that worry aside. Worrying is merely practicing over and over and over again in relentless repetition. Something without a solution that may never happen. Say yes to yourself and be mindful of the fact that unmade decisions and postponed projects destroys your energy stores. 
The quality and quantity of your emotional energy supply is completely within your control. The quality of our lives directly correlates to our emotional energy. There are very few things with which we have so much power. Take yours in hand and assume the responsibility of putting more joy in your life. When we have more joy, we can give more away. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. As, al- as always, for any questions, comments, or suggestions about new episodes, please do reach out at mbeltran at michellebeltran.com. All right, have a wonderful week. Thanks for listening to the Intuitive Hour. If you're inspired to take your intuitive development to the next step, be sure to enroll in Michelle's newly released Kickstart Your Intuition e-course at michellebeltran.com.